Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from SysAdmin102. In today's video, I'll be unboxing the DC740 Opsin desktop security from uh, Opsin official uh, store. So let's take a look and see what's uh, inside uh, the box. So getting star. So basically they give you a star guide for um, the default username and password for Opsin and pretty sender and we'll take a look at the inside all right so i ordered it uh dec 740 it doesn't have fan it um it comes with a hissing on top so it's fanless and suppose please it's only uh consume 15 watt of power if you live in california like me right now uh electric be with it's like insane. Um, I'm paying like four five hundred dollar a month easily. So saving a lot of electric power is always good. So that's the reason why I'm purchasing this one because uh, it's only consumed fifteen watt. And uh, we're gonna give it some test just to make sure that uh, what as advertises. So. Over here you have a three, one gigabit uh, Ethernet port, uh, and over here you have a two SSP, SFP uh, plus or the ten gig port. Uh, you have a USB, and then you have a console and a power indicator. In the back, it's just a power plug-in. And let's see. Um, so the power cable that come with it, uh, just the typical generic um, 12 volt 3m 36 watt max and it's come with the usb console cable as well all right so it looked pretty nice on the outside i like the color the hissing and the design uh, however let's take a look under the hood to see what it is uh, so the reason why i opted for the dec 740 uh, it that because it's only the four gigabyte model but I do believe that it's upgradable, so let's find out. And uh, keep in mind, if you uh, open your device, uh, you might void the warranty. This is my first time opening it, so I'm not sure how it would come up yet. All right. Okay. So it actually attached to the hissing, so we have to unscrew some more. All right, so as you see the board is pretty nice. It actually uh, look a lot higher quality compared to uh, NetGate. This is the reason why I opted to buy um, Opsin. I do think that the device is a lot more higher quality than NetGate. All right, and over here we have the uh, NVMe. Look like they're using a uh, transcend, and this is a uh, one hundred twenty-eight gigabyte. So it's just a standard 
uh, M.2, I believe. We got the AMD uh, Ryzen. The memory, it looks like it's just a typical uh, 4 GB DDR4 2666UDIM uh, 1R Temp A. And this is a VLP, it means it's a very low profile. So, one of the major drawbacks of uh, having the 1U firewall is that it um, the heat and the noise is not as loud as the servers but however still um, the fan actually making a considerable uh, amount of noise I'm not sure you guys can hear it but um, right now I'm using the NetGate X uh, I believe this is X7100 uh, uh, U model however I'm currently running um, Opsin on this one And uh, next, we'll be releasing uh, this NetGate uh, X7100U with the new uh, Opsin DEC740. And it would fit perfectly on the top of the uh, tray right here. Alright, let's uh, connect the power and power it up. Alright, so I have a token up to the uh, lane and now uh, when and it have the uh, power on. For right now, I'm just using the Ethernet for testing, but uh, I definitely gonna use uh, the 10 gigabit uh, SFP uh, plus. So as you see, it actually is sitting idle at uh, 10 watt right now. Because I have not uh, run anything and I, have, I haven't set it up yet. But uh, expecting it might uh, spike up a little, probably to a uh, 15 watt, which basically as advertised by uh, Opsin. So this is good news for me because it's gonna reduce a lot of uh, electric power. All right, so it's already boot up. I think it's less than uh, two minutes, I believe. And uh, it seems like it's only a minute, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, regardless, I think it's boot up a lot quicker compared to um, PF scene. And this is one thing I like about up scene. It, uh, every time it reboot and it boot up it a lot quicker than uh, PF scene. All right, let's lock in. The default lock in gonna be root and the uh, Default password gonna be Opsin. All right, so the LAN already assigned to IGP zero and when is the IGP one, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. All right, so now this is uh, connected. You have uh, two options. You can set it up using the uh, console to uh, assign the interfaces or set the IP address, uh, or you can uh, log in to the web GUI using the IP address and um, you can uh, uh, initiate well it should be automatically launch the setup wizard so gonna help you out uh, a lot quicker so we're gonna go ahead and do that all right and advance accept So default username is gonna be uh, root, and the password gonna be uh, opsin o p n s e n s e. And last suspected is automatically launch the setup wizard. All right, and for domain name, I'm gonna change this to my domain name, which is sitadmin one hundred two dot tech. Primary DNS server uh, gonna use uh, quad nine. So 9.9.9.9 .9 .9 .9. and the secondary would be 
dot one one two dot one one two dot one one two. So I would uncheck override DNS. If this checks, you're basically using the DNS uh, server provided by the ISP. And we're gonna enable DNS uh, sex support, hardened DNS data. And then we're gonna change to the time zone. DXCP. I'm gonna keep everything as default. And next, LAN IP address. I'm gonna change this to my uh, favorite LAN IP address: ten dot one three dot two dot one. And the uh, subnet mask, I'm going to leave as, as uh, default, 24. And we're going to create a new uh, root password. All right. And we're going to reload to apply the changes. Keep in mind that the IP address is going to change uh, to um, the one I just uh, set it up. Alright, and uh, at advance, accept the risk and continue. And we're gonna lock in with the new password. Alright, so right here you have uh, options 23.4 and it's currently on the free PSD 13.41 release P7. The CPU is AMD Ryzen V um, one five zero zero B, and have uh, four cores and uh, eight threads. And as you see, the CPU usage is like barely uh, moving; it's zero percent. Uh, I'll be testing this under load, and uh, I'll make sure to let you know how it's handle uh, uh, if it's under load. And uh, as well as uh, I'll be up uh, on the, my next video, I'll show you how to upgrading the memory. Uh, let's take a look at the license. Actually, um, we're gonna look at the firmware. So under settings right now, I think the box is shipped with the business uh, firmware. So right here, if you wanna update uh, using the commercial, uh, right now the update channel is a commercial channel. So you wanna change this to community versions, you can switches to community versions otherwise you will fill in the license that provided by uh, opsin in the email so let's change this to community and see if it let it update the firmware all right so you have to change this to um, a different server not the commercial one so pick the one that closest to your if you want to use community, uh, community versions All right, and look like it actually let us uh, change it uh, to community uh, versions. Let's go update and see if it uh, actually uh, getting update. All right, let's check for update. All right, so it actually getting update. Okay. So one good thing about uh, Option, you have the ability to switch between the commercial and the business license uh, seamlessly. You just have to change the uh, server, the tab to a business, and then uh, input your subscription key, and you should be able to pull the update from uh, the commercial channel. And that's it for today's uh, review video. Uh, in the next video, I will show you how to uh, upgrade the memory to a uh, 16 GB possibly. And if you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.